is up everybody out there on YouTube back to you today with another review um, today we're going to talk about the retro 4 89s and 2013 release of the OG retro 88s I brought both of those out to show you guys a little bit of a difference because I don't know it's not, of course we know the four is different because you got the three and your four of course we know they're a totally different sneaker but I don't know what's going on far as with Nike because they're releasing all these different boxes. You um, you know, if you're like me, you'd be like, I wonder what box is going to come with those sneakers when they release. And when they came out with the Master 12s, you know, they hit us with a kind of an OG box. You know, the 3s and the 4s have been kind of coming in the box that have the, you know, the elephant print, you know, going around the box and stuff like that. So we never know what boxes we're going to get. They've been pretty consistent with the box that come out with the threes and the fours, but with the other sneakers, the boxing has been switching up on us. You know, they gave us the 30th anniversary box, which was the black box with the gold jump man. And then sometimes we get an OG box, so we never know what box we're gonna get. Um, but the Retro 4 release, this is an 89 release. This shoe, which is the Retro 3, came out in 2013. So three years later, you know, they decide to release the 89. This is the 88 and this is the 89. But also the 90, which is the five, the all black five with the Nike Air on the back. The Retro 90 is going to release this year as well. Um, also, uh, this shoe was kind of was more of a general release. They kind of was sitting on the shelves and stuff like that, but people was going crazy over the Masters. And then you have the Retro 388 that nobody could get because it was an online release only. So I'm kind of like wondering like how Nike kind of determined how they're going to do the release on the sneakers. But, you know, overall, this is a really dope sneaker. Um, both of them have, you know, the Nike Air on the back, um, which is a really dope colorway. I think this colorway came out as well uh, back in 2000. 12 maybe 14 um i i, I kind of passed on the sneaker when it came out but since they came out with the the nike air original og colorway i decided to go with this one meaning that i'm kind of glad that i you know didn't cop the other version of it um but for the price point which these was i paid um 199 i paid i paid 199 online for the retro 388 for the four i paid 220 so Price bump 20 bucks from the Retro 388 to the Retro 489. So price difference there with no difference in the quality. So it's kind of hard to determine what's going on, how Nike actually come up with, you know, the release of the sneakers or whether they're going to give us, you know, a remastered version that they were calling it. You know, they were calling that the shoes remastered because it's supposed to look as much close to the original sneaker as possible. But on this sneaker, on the Retro 489, it looked like they just gave us, you know, the same quality material that they put on the, the one, the, the $190 pair of sneakers and they just price bumped us 40 bucks. Uh, or they just price bumped us, you know, $30 because they put the Nike Air on the back of these. But overall, it is a dope sneaker, and um, I have creases on them already, and I haven't even worn them yet. I haven't even did an on feet for you guys with the Retro 489, and I already have creases in the sneaker. So that goes to show you what kind of quality this has. Um, not a tumble leather, but overall, it's a dope sneaker. I'm going to wear them anyway, and they're going to get a little creasing anyway, so the creasing really don't bother me as much. But I think when you pay $220, somebody might, you know, find find that you know a problem of course you got Nike on the bottom but you guys let me know what you think do you like the threes better the 88 or the 89 they are going to release the all black black retro 5 90 that came out in the 90s supposed to be an OG colorway has the Nike air on the back of, as well it's going to be an OG official colorway also now Nike is actually calling the sneakers OG because if you look at the official tag on it it says it on the box versus on the, oh, on the 2013 Retro 388 sneaker, you know, they actually put, you know, 88. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section about the three and about the four. And what do you think about, you know, are you able to determine what box is going to come with the sneakers when they are releasing? Or you just, or you don't have a clue like me? Because I, I used to be like, oh yeah, you know, the threes, they're going to come in the, you know, the kind of elephant print box. And that's kind of like what we've been getting on the threes and the fours. And then, you know, the fives. We get a totally, I think we get a totally different box. Instead of this box that lifts all the way up like this, we get the one that kind of like lifts up with it, you know, when you get the five. But, you know, they come in totally different boxes all the time. Thank you guys for watching my videos. And always, always like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see you in the next video.